Algebra 1, practice test for the end of course. This is question number 49. What is an equivalent form of all values of x, y, and z for which the expression is defined? Now, to do this, we have to think about the relationship between division of the terms and exponents that are involved in them. Uh, when you do something with exponents, if you're whatever operation you do to that term, you do one less with the exponents themselves. So in this case, when I'm dividing, I do divide 3 by 12. Uh, but the exponents, I'm just going to subtract, because subtract's one less than divide. The way that I like to think about this is which one's bigger, and then how many of it goes into it, or just to perform the operation. So I know that 12 is bigger than 3. This is a division question, so I know 12 divided by 3 gives you 4. So I'm going to put 4 on the bottom, because 12 stays on the bottom because it's there. You could also do 3 divided by 12 is 1 fourth, however you want to think about it. Then I'm going to look at my x's x is 6, x to the 6 versus x to the 3rd. Well, x to the 6 is bigger, so I know my x term is going to go on top, and I subtract 6 minus 3, so it's x to the 3rd power, because 6 minus 3 is 3. Then I'm going to look at my y's. I've got y to the 4th and y to the 2nd. Well, y to the 4th is bigger, so my y term is going to stay on the bottom. And 4 minus 2 is 2, so 4 y to the second power, and then finally my z's, well z to the ninth is way bigger than z to the third, uh, so 9 minus 3 gives you z to the sixth, so I end up with an answer that looks pretty much just like answer B. So the answer, number 49, is simply B.